Hey guys, what is up? A lot of you are wondering about laptop mining. Here is a GP66 Leopard. It's an MSI with a 3070 mobile in it. This guy does 65.3 mega hash with my settings right now. I am running SMOS on it. So here's what I've done with it. Since this is my personal laptop, I don't want to run any mining, anything like mining software. I'll access crypto and stuff on it, but I don't want any mining stuff or anything like that on there. I don't want any of that kind of software. I don't want any mining programs. I don't want any miners. I don't want any wallets. Maybe I have wallets on there. I don't know. Point is, keeping this mostly separate from any like mining related stuff that could possibly have malware or anything like that on there. So I installed Hive OS. I'm sure you could do if, sorry, this is Simple Miner SMOS on here. You could also do it with Hive if you wanted. And I plug that in there, open up the BIOS, and then you just set your boot priority to boot from a USB drive instead of Windows. And there you have it. it. You just turn it on and it boots right from here and then you can control it remotely. Everything's all good to go. So what have I done with this laptop? It gets really hot up here, like really hot. And I just had these heat sinks. I don't know if this really does much, but they're warm. Like These are really warm to the touch, so I guess it's doing something. I just bought some thermal tape strips that are underneath of there. And I actually had all these copper blocks I just had them. They're pretty cheap to buy them anyways. So I just stuck all these copper blocks on there where it gets really hot under the screen. Unfortunately, I can't turn the screen off when you're in Linux here. You just can't do it. You can turn off the keyboard lights and stuff like that, which I've done. But the screen itself, don't think you can turn it off. So I've got that there. And then I set it up on this little rack here with a fan pointing up at it. So I used to have a box fan on there, but the box fan doesn't work very good. It was really loud. It doesn't really push that much focused air. So this was actually pretty hot with the box fan. So what I got are these, I just discovered these things, these Amazon Basics fans. So this is an 11 inch circulating fan. You can see here it pivots and everything like that. This one's off right now, just so it's not so loud for the video. I've got that one pointing right here at these 3080s, because they get a little warm here. This rig's just kind of sitting in a corner, so not a lot of airflow there. This thing helps it a lot. So I've got another one here, underneath this, pointing up at it. And then that is just on the lowest setting. These, quiet, these fans are nice and quiet. So that box fan I had was super loud. So now I've got this really quiet 11 inch fan. I love these things. I just bought two more of them. So I've got four in total. I might end up buying some more and pointing two of them at each of my rigs. So that's, they're about $35 each. With tax and everything, under $40. So you're probably looking at like $75 for a pair of these, but you could point them at each of your hot rigs and this should keep them cold. Like this thing moves a lot of air quickly. It moves a lot of air quickly in like a very focused, channel which is exactly what you need for these computers so back to the laptop there's some shrouding here which i've taken off you pop that off and you can pop the whole bottom off of it this whole bottom comes right off of there and here's where the fan intakes are right here that draw air into it so i find if i've got this fan under it blowing cold air right up at it right up at the bottom there it is nice and cold. It drops the temperatures by about six degrees over just running the fans and then the computer doesn't run as hard. And you can see this isn't lined up right now because I don't have any of the screws on in this. I actually took the battery out of this. I was running it with the battery, but what's the point? You're just gonna fry it and I wanna keep this thing running for as long as possible. So let me show you what I took out of there. Here is the battery. Here's just a baggie with all the screws in the back of it. I just didn't bother putting the screws back on just because I'm going to be cleaning this thing out a little more often. Here's just the back plate that just sticks on there on the back of the thing. 
And here is the battery. So it comes with a big old battery, which I guess isn't that big in the world of laptops. The higher end laptop has a much larger battery. But I don't want to fry this battery and you don't need it if you're just mining because you just have it plugged in all the time anyways. So you just unplug this battery, take it out, and then that should keep that thing nice and fresh so when I go to use it, it's not just a dead battery. And that battery just sits right underneath of this, right in the front here. So I've just taken that completely out. I've thought about just not having the backing on this and just sitting it on something, but I don't know about those exposed electronics on like a metal rack. You'd have to get some plastic or something to put it on and I just figured it would be just too much of a headache. So I just put the back on it with no screws and the temperatures seem to be good this way. And that is all I'm doing for this laptop. This thing cost me at the time about, I got a two year no questions asked warranty for it. So that plus tax, the laptop was about 2,700 Canadian all in, maybe 2,750. That's after tax and the two year no questions asked warranty. And it is running at 65 mega hash a second. I don't know what that's making right now actually because the payouts have dropped a bit. Maybe it's making about like 0 0.05 a month. So if you're doing like 0.5 Ethereum a year roughly. So these are Canadian prices as well. If I sell my Ethereum for $5,000, you're still looking at about a year, maybe 13 month payout on this laptop, which seemed okay to me because now I have an awesome laptop that pays for itself. That's the key, right? Get some equipment that will pay for itself. This thing is I don't on sale right now, actually. It's about $350 less than what I paid for it. And you can actually get one. It's another GP66, so the same as this, but it has a 3080 in it for about $100 more than I paid for this thing. I got this one the beginning of the year, I think in February of this year. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what it was. So I'm actually contemplating buying the one with the 3080 and seeing how this does, seeing how that does. If I can just find another after the warranty and everything, maybe it'll be about $2,900. So this one does 65 mega hash on a 3070. It'd be interesting to see what a 3080 mobile does. Should I buy one? Maybe. It's kind of expensive. Probably not the best use of money that I don't have at the moment, but could be an interesting experiment. Or I can wait till the 4000 series cards come out and buy a new 4000 series laptop. Let me know what you think Bro, oh, laptop mining. That's the only one I've got right now. Actually, that's not true. I've got another one right here. This is an older Asus with a, let's see here. There you go, right here. Uh, come on, focus. You could do it. You could do it, camera. Not focusing. Okay, it's got a 980M in it. Core i7, I don't know what gen this is. 5th gen maybe, 4th gen process, 4th gen Intel I bet ya, with a 980M. So I used to mine this thing way back in the day on nice hash. So this thing used to make me about a buck a day on nice hash, paying me out in Bitcoin. I think it has also mined on CC miner running Verge way back in the day, which I've since lost all my wallet information. So all, any Verge I mined are gone, but I still have that Bitcoin. This is my very first mining computer, well, laptop. This thing's an old, now media PC kind of thing. But this was mining on NiceHash, and I killed the battery because I didn't take the battery out of this. So this has to be plugged in 24 seven for it to work. As soon as you take the battery, unplug the battery, it lasts for about three minutes tops with web browsing and then it dies. So that was my first laptop experiment. Pretty funny. This thing weighs 11 pounds or something. This one weighs five. So laptops have come a long way since the 980 series card to the 30 series card. So there you go. Laptop mining.
probably not a good idea to do for the hash rate but fantastic idea if you want a computer that will pay for itself that you're going to use hope you guys get something out of this cheers